Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into something a little bit different, but totally fascinating. We all know the saying, clothes do make the man. Well, hold on to your hats, because today we're going to flip that notion on its head. So picture this, an extraordinary man, extraordinary circumstances, and yes, you guessed it, we're talking about the king of pop himself, Michael Jackson. His clothes are not just clothes, it's a style, a very specific style. Now, if you're a fan like me, you know that Michael Jackson was not just a musician. He was a global phenomenon. From his groundbreaking performances on the Flip Wilson show, his dazzling appearances on American Bandstand, Soul Train, this guy left an indelible mark on pop culture. So what happened? Panini America, you know these guys from the trading cars, they, uh, uh, they got hold of a few costumes that Michael wore in the 70s, begin 70s, so early in his career. They cut up those clothes and they placed it in small little cars as part of a, uh, a big trading card collection. And guess what? This is one of them. This is a piece of clothing that Michael Jackson wore on the Flip Wilson show in 1971, where he performed with his brothers. And later on, they used these clothes as well in a uh, publicity photo shoot. Uh, on the back side, it says, uh, this, uh, the swatch within this card is from a Boyd Clapton design outfit, which was worn by Michael Jackson in 1971 for publicity photos and live performances as a member of the Jackson 5 on the Flip Wilson show. I want you back. ABC and The Love You Say was the medley of hits performed. And this backside also serves as a uh, certificate of authenticity. Now, what I find weird is that Michael's uh, uh, picture on this card is not uh, where he wears the costume, which is inside of this card. So that's weird, of course. Um, I've looked it up. It's a piece of, uh, of his pants. And um, here you see a picture of where he's performing live in the bad tour. It's weird, and I, I'm, I'm not sure why they make this decision, but still, it's a wonderful piece to have in my collection, and I'm very, very proud of it and very happy with it. But this is also a thing where things get a little bit tricky, because yes, of course we're happy to see these pieces of clothing, uh, but there's a downside of cutting up vintage clothing of our superstar Michael Jackson. For many fans and collectors, there's a sense of loss uh, knowing that these pieces, which once belonged to the King of Pop himself, have been altered from its original state. It's like losing a piece of history, you know? According to Panini America CEO Mark Warsup, they have worked tirelessly to uh, to do a contribution to Michael Jackson's legacy. and. Uh, it's a unique piece, of course. It's very extraordinary and uh, I, I do like it. Actually, these suits should be in a museum, if you ask me, or it should be in an exposition or whatever. A hard rock cafe. There are lots of hard rock cafes and they have these pieces on the wall, guitars, uh, also Michael Jackson items. And when I was a little boy, I saw the beaded jacket on the wall in a hard rock cafe in Mexico. It was wonderful to see. It was a great experience. And uh, um, now I have my own little uh, piece of clothing right here. And I, I, I do like it very much. So if you are a diehard Michael Jackson fan like me, or you are a collector who just likes to have cool memorabilia, you don't want to miss out on these. You can find these cards on eBay or other platforms like eBay for around 250 euros. I also have seen much more expensive for around 800 euros, and I guess these are a little bit more uh, rare or something. Uh, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice to have. Also with double swatches, it's, it's really cool to see these in your own collection. All right, that's a wrap for today. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Until next time, peace out.